Hey, it's Angumi here, and this is something you wouldn't expect to see considering what I had put up recently. Now, I know some of you may be asking, where the hell are the next Arcade City Simulator Don't worry, they're on their way. It's just, I am a university student, and editing takes time, okay? Now, what you see in front of you is a, it's actually a booster box of M M Gathering's recent set, Dominaria, which, considering the date this has come out, is its new release date, is its release date. So, and what this is, is a whole booster box. And you know what booster box needs to be done? It needs to be freaking opened. So, let's just get right into it. Let's see this, what was that with Karn, Dior, and Teferi. I mean, this is Teferi, like, back in the past, actually, <laughs> I should mention. I got this. Got the excitement of a new set when all the new cards come in. I mean, it's not as exciting as a pre-release, but still. <laughs> now, some of you may not be, may not know how magic works. Don't worry, there might be some videos of that coming on later, coming in the future. So, look forward to that. Now, with these booster boxes, how would you be able to acquire? Some of you might ask, how would you acquire? How do you acquire one? Well, that's simple. Go to your local games, <laughs> so it sells games like Magic Gearing or something, and just ask if there's any booster boxes to buy, and possibly buy them. If, if you're possible, there might be a, there might be an offer. They might have a special, they might have deals that go for like getting them at a bit of a cheaper price. So always ask around and look for look for cheaper prices at your game stores when you're getting the packs. Now, it's usually something with the booster box, and that is usually a promo. This time around, I was unlucky and I didn't get the promo. But this promo is something that needs to be talked about, because this card is also a card that does not appear in the set from the normal booster packs. And that card is Fire Song and Sunspeaker. Legendary Creature Minotaur Cleric, 4-6. With 4, four generic, 1 white, 1 red. Red instant sorcery spells, you control of lifelink. You if a white source were to get you would gain life from life from a white source, deals three damage to target to any target. And I'm also gonna have to get used to the new Arado changes. So you know what? Let's just get cracking. This is what, what the Dominaria packs kinda look like. Now I should also mention, you notice how there's this thing here, in Magic Gathering Arena reward inside. For most of you, you will not have this, because this is currently something that's that are trying for it in New Zealand only. And the it involves a card on the back of the one of the cards in here. But the cards are for only people that are for MTG Arena players that are New Zealand only. So it detects if you're a New Zealander. So if you're a New Zealander you'll be able to use it. Which I will ex which I will note as the booster goes as the boosters start opening. Now there's a thing about these boosters. Each booster contains 15 actual playing cards and a supplementary card, which in this case is a good is a sapling token. Good old token from there. And speaking of the crowd, this is what the card looks like. But some of these, but I will have used some of these cards by the time this video comes up. So you might not be able to see it. I won't. I'll only show like one as an example, so that way you can use it. Anyway, back to this. There's always a specific thing there will always be certain amounts of cards like usually 10 common cards which is this rarity here which use dub 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 relic runner rat colony arbor armament thalid omnivore here jousting lance which is kind of annoying when you have to worry about blocking it when your opponent's attacking separately migration okay there's also one of the mechanics in this set. If the, if the camera would focus... Damn it, focus. Certainly migration, which is two drop, but sorcery. Cast two, create two separate tokens. But, if a certain cost has been paid in addition, you'll get four of them, which is kicker, which an additional floor as you cast the spell. Blink of an eye, another kicker spell. Seismic shift. Avian sentry flying. 
now we have our things, our big things, which are Sarah Angel, a classic in the major thing. I apologize for the quality, it's just... Ah, there we go. On Sarah's wings, legendary enchantment. Enchanted creature is legendary, gets plus one, plus one, flying vigilance and lifelink. I like that. Dominaria also has a un something unique about this. You're always going to be guaranteed a legendary cre some a legendary creature in every pack. However, if that legendary creature is an uncommon rarity, like this one here, Bear Steward of Argive, because it's a legendary, two four, it's a two four with casting cost of two generic, two white, with vigilance, and creatures can't attack you or place walking control unless the creature the controller pays one generic mana for each of those creatures. Now, for those of Blood Commander, you know how annoying Ghostly Prison and Propaganda is. This is basically just a mini version of it, because it only does one instead of two. Okay, now here's what we're talking about. Our rare. Daring Archaeologist. Four casting costs, three, three, Human Artificer. When this enters the battlefield, you might return target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. When you cast a Historic spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on Daring Archaeologist. Historic is another mechanic, a counter, cover. Historic spells are a bit different. Dominaria is all about the legends. Xerion Dominaria was also the first, well, the original home of the Elder Sets. Xerion is set's 20th, this year's 25th anniversary, they decided to go back to, a, to the old place. Historic spells are specifically as artifacts, legendaries, or sagas. So historic spells are something like, like Baird here, is considered historic because he has the legendary super text. Go and there's the archaeologist, and as always, there'll always be a basic land. Alright, next pack. Just gonna do it. Oops, I'll just squire toke, this onward explorer, G2 Lava Runner, Sarah Disciple, another historic respiration, Talarian Scholar, Gaze Protector. Academy Journey Mage, Tragic Poet. Okay, something different about this pack. Usually there's 10 cards, 10 commons. Sometimes you might only have 9 commons. Usually when that happens, that means there's a, there's a, what is it? They say premium, but some of us say foil card in that pack. And that card can be of any rarity. Speaking of rarities, I'll explain here. This little symbol here, depending on the color, this is a different card. You can also tell by the bottom here. The C means it's common. U is uncommon. R is rare. But there's also an M one, which is mythic rare. And you can tell, you can also tell them about this. There's offering, kind of annoying to play against. Guardians of Colios. Another historic thing. Speaking of uncommon, here's one. Knight of Grace. He X proof from his new thing. Hers is time. There. Final parting. Good card. Speaking of a foil, here's a foil. Here's our foil. Memorial to Folly. Enter Spellfield tap. Tap to add a swamp. Pay two and a swamp and tap. Sacrifice this to return to your creature from your graveyard into play. And as I said, speaking of legendary creatures, sometimes legendary can just be a new rare slot, like Grand Warlord Rada. Four casting costs, three, four of haste. One must be green forest, one must be of green mana, one must be of red mana. I'll explain that in the video. Whenever one more creature you control attack, add that much mana in any combination of red and or green. So at the end of turn, you don't lose mana as steps and phases ends. Okay. That's actually a pretty decent card in an aggro deck. <laughs> now I should also mention about MTG Arena. It's just it's basically what Magic on another answer to Magic Gathering Online is. However, it is currently in beta, so yeah, if you're lucky to get into the beta, more luck, to, good luck to you. So I'm just going to remove the lands and tip cards from the back. Damn it, camera focus again. Okay, fire elemental, gas protector. I'm just going to skip through them. Go skin witch, spine construct, but. Gain's Reproach. A reprint from Battle from Zendikar, by the way. 
Speaking of reprints, a reprint that is a fan favorite, Lanoir Elves. A, a classic. And it's still a common. That's good. The Omnivore Skittering Surveyor. Academy Drake. This thing is fun. Cast down. To destroy Titan, non legendary creature. Zelfar and Void. Venus of Belfield, Scry 1. Isolated Chapel, one of. is one of the official lands that comes into play tapped, unless you control a Plains or a Swamp. Tapped, add Plains or a Swamp to your mana pool. And here's our legendary. Rough Cap. Capartian. Ship's Mage. Four casting costs, 3 free flash flying. You might cast historic spells as I have flash, historic being artifacts, legendaries, and sagas. If I get a saga, I'll explain. So, now let's get to the next pack. So, first time doing something like this. It's, right, there we go, and here we go. Bloodstone Goblin, Invoke the Divine, Scry uh, Opt, another reprint from Pixelan, Get Your Jewelry Mage. Then War Scout. This thing's gonna be a nice thing in Commander because you can just cheat lands onto the battlefield, even if you've already played your land for the turn, or you can do one during your opponent's turn just to be a dick. Cabal Paladin, Pig Pigasus Courier, Cannon Raider. Let's put lands and tip cards away. Broken Bond. Divination. Memorial to Unity, the Memorial Cycle, Shield of the Realm, and a double whammy because this is our first Mythic and their first Saga. But first, Grun the Lonely King. Legendary Creature. Six casting costs 5-5. Five, five. Kicker 3. If, you, if he is kicked when you cast, he just may have 5 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. It's already a 5-5 five, five as it is. It becomes a 10-10. But if this thing attacks alone, double the spare on top of the screen of the turn. So if you can make this unblockable and you're playing sealed and you get it kicked, you may see swing for a lethal. Anyway, History of Penalia, the first first saga in the set. Sagas are different because these are enchantments that tell the story history of this uh, history mainly of the Dominaria plane. As this saga enters, and after you draw a step, add a lore counter. Lore counters these counters here, like sacrifice after three, law counters, and depending on which step they are, you execute that effect. Enter the battlefield for chapter one. Create two true white knight creature token with vigilance. Draw what next to you draw step. Do chapter two, which is the same thing for this one. Do chapter three after the next draw step after that, but once it has three, you sacrifice this, which gives buff to your knights. Good night, Trouble Dick. <laughs> Let's go. Explorer, Lava Runner, Adamant Will, Ungrace Acolyte, Guys Protector, Kelden Raider, Pegasus Courier, Fungal Infection, Rescue. Another saga, the Eldest Reborn. One is X each point sacrifice creature with planeswalker. Two is discard a card. Three, put target creature with planeswalker card from a graveyard on the battlefield under your control. That would soothsayer. Oh, and here's a legendary sorcery. I know of these because I pulled some of these at pre release. Jaya's Immolating Inferno. X and two red. Legendary sorcery. Jaya's Immolating Inferno deals X damage to each of up to three targets. There's a thing with legendary sorceries. There are powerful moments in the saga as well. With this, you need to control a legendary creature or planeswalker. Planeswalker, I may explain if I get one, or I'll explain when it later. Oh, but I didn't realize I had a foil. Kygo Skin Witch. Simple as that. Ah, oh, simple. And Wrath Compassion, again. Do this. Speed it up. I'll just sub out. Okay, I think I just saw it. Dub. 
Talarian Scholar, Frenzied Rage, Healing Grace. Then I Scout again. This is going to be annoying. Stronghold Confessor. This thing can be powerful if you play it later in the game. Blessed Light. Blessed Light. Kelden Overseer. Academy Journey Mage. Tragic Poet. Firefist Adept. Howling Golem. Which, if you're familiar with Howling Mine, this has a similar thing, except it's only when this attacks or blocks. So, you can play a friendly deck in Commander, so. <laughs> and speaking of Planeswalkers, here is the first. Here's a Planeswalker. Karn. Scion of Urza. Planeswalkers are special spells. They represent certain powerful characters, and they have their own effects. Usually in their own story, so. Karn here. Legendary Planeswalker. Planeswalkers only recently became errated to be legendary in this set. No, no, Exelon. During Exelon block. There used to be a rule where you can't control two Planeswalkers of the same subtype. It means you can't draw Jace Architect of Four or Jace the Mind Sculptor at the same time. Now, it's only the Legion rule. It's basically the Legion rule that applies. So that means you can have two different versions of Karn on the field at the same time without having to worry about getting rid of one of them. Now let's explain Karn's abilities. Plus one. He starts with 5 loyalty, plus 1, reveal top 2 cards of your library. An opponent chooses one of them, put that card into your hand, and exile the other with a silver counter on it. Minus 1, put a card you own from your, with a silver counter from it, from, on it from exile to your hand. My, his, he has a minus 2 as his biggest thing. Create a 0-0 zero, zero colorless, colorless construct artifact creature token with... This creature gets plus 1, plus 1 for each artifact you control. So, artif so if you're running artifact heavy deck... This is the friend for you. This is like, and this is also the, f and we've also got Halar the Fire Fletcher. Three casting cost, three three trample. Whenever you cast a spell, if that spell is good, put a plus one plus one counter on, on this creature. Then deals damage equal to number plus one counters on it to each opponent. You know, let's just speed it up a little bit. You know, let's just. Well, you guys have probably seen what's. You know, know the pattern, so remember it's usually 10 commons, 3 uncommons, and a rare. And there's always going to be a legendary creature in each pack, so remember that. You might get a foil card, it could be of any rarity. So let's just start. If I recognize see a certain card that I want to talk about, I'll talk about it. God damn it. Camera will focus, please. Abomination. Wanderer. Cyclops. Divination. Good old kicker. Which is offering. Spore Swarm. Orcish Vandal. Dread Shade. Three black, three three, but one black gets plus one, plus one to end of turn, so the more black, the more of that mana you have. The more damage you can deal. And Danitha the Cap Capacion. Paragon. Three casting costs, two two, first strike, vigilance, and lifelink. Or an equipment spells you cast cost one least to cast. That can be fun if you're losing a lot of that stuff. Let's see here. Equipment strike. Blessing of Belzenoc, which is important in the story if you read the boy. Another land one on boy, which not that not that efficient to grab mana, but could be good for helping mana fixing. Ah, uh, the counter spell, the spells where you untap the money you cut you pay to cast them. That's a good old callback to some of the most more powerful spells in Magic's history. Shiv and fire, sparring construct, Gideon's reproach again. Another land one elves, yay! Elf and Druid, this is a fun one. You can just tap to add one green mana, or tap to add two green mana, as long as you're casting a spell that's kicker. Memorial to Glory. Ooh, and I got this token legendary creature, Karox Bladewing. I'll explain that token if I get the creature that comes with it, but I'll explain later. Anyway, first of all, Tatyova, Benthic Druid. 5 casting cost 3-3. Three, three. Whenever a land is spell for you under control, you gain your life and draw a card. But then here's Primeval's Glorious Rebirth, another legendary sorcery. 
Seven casting costs. One black and one white is required. Return all legendary permanent cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. That is a deadly card if you can just get a lot of legendary stuff. Pretty good in Commander though, because you can get a lot of legendary creatures in there. Let's just speed it up. Opening packs is just excitement. Oops, damn it, did it again. The photo, prospector, acolyte, sapling migration, blink of an eye, sapling of shift, even sentry, cabal of angel, primordial worm, triumph of Gerard, another, another one of these. Steps one and two, trip is one and two, is put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control of greatest power. Three is creature control of target creature you control. Highest greatest power, flying first strike and lifelink to any turn. Yours familiar. Okay, this is a big fucking thing. Shall I? Voice of Plenty. Four casting costs, three, four angel, three, four flying. You, players walkers you control, and other creatures you control have hexproof. And for six, with two of it being green, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. Now with Commander, with this, you can run gr white as well as green because it's part of its color identity. Remember that. Foil Grun the Lonely King, we've recovered him. And Bad Stewart, I've recovered him already. Now let's get, let's get, get into it. There are some value cards I want in this. Oh, come on, come here. Invoke the Divine. Well, they're an Arcanist. Radiating Lightning. Davenant, Davenant, Tra Trapper. Cross and Druid. Feral Abomination. Mesa Unicorn. Divination. Short Sword. Simple Artifact. Goblin War Chief. So if you're running Goblin Tribal, you'll want this. And this is a good old reprint as well. Makes your Goblin Spells one of these. To cast, cost one generic list to cast, and gives them haste. Flockish Vandal. Ooh, Gilded Lotus. I'm sure some of you, if you've played Time Spiral, will remember this beauty. And Dream of Any Color Your It ain't a Black Lotus, but it's pretty close. So if you're willing to. Okay, before we cover that, how about the Cursed? Five casting costs, 3 3, Death Touch, Lifelink. I really should creatures you control get plus 2 plus 2. <laughs> That is an evil card. But there's this. Right of Thousandok is our foil rare. Yes, you can get rares and mythics and foil. And Lord Countess. One and two is create two zero one black cleric creature tokens. Three is create a six six demon creature black demon creature token with flying triple and at the beginning of your upkeep sacrifice another creature. If you can't this deal the creature deals six damage to you. But at least it's not one where I tap and deal six damage to you. Phew. Or rare to add this. That's good. Okay, so I'm gonna have to remember to keep track and see. Am I gonna get profit or loss? Take a bet. Take your bets. Oops, damn it. Did it again. Count him walk over. Not a new ban banalia. Deep freeze. Basically makes them a wall kind of like a mini wall frost. Harbor armament. Wind Grace Acolyte. Justin Lance. Annoying to come up against when your opponent's attacking with a first strike creature. Run a mark. Tell your attacking creature gets plus three, plus three against trample. Blink of an eye. Death Bloom Thalid. Blood Blood Tower Candle. Alfheim Druid. Flame of Cow. This one is discard your hand. Second one is draw two cards. Third, if a red source you control will deal damage to a permanent or a player this turn, deals that much damage plus two to that player or permanent instead. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Another, the mending of Dominaria. Five casting cost. Put one and two is put two, top two cards of your library into your graveyard. Then you may return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Then three is return all land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Then shuffle your library. Slyn the Rising Deep. Eight casting cost. Eight eight with a kicker. If it's the battlefield, if it is kicked, return all creatures except two other hands. Except for Murfox, Krakens, Leviathans, Octopus, and Serpents. Should be Octopi, to be honest. Because the plural for Octopus is Octopi. Just like the plural for Cactus is Cacti. But people say it's Cactuses just to piss me off. 
Ah, enough about really that. Let's just let's go. Okay. okay. Skirk and Skirk Prospector. Sergeant at Arms. Cold Water Snapper. Divest. And a West Scout. Again. Yavi my Sapper. Calden Overseer. Short Sword. Vicious Offering. But that one's just pretty easy to get the kicker. There's Urza's Tome. Flame of Cal, I've already covered that. Vernon Force, another reprint actually from Time Spiral. Eight casting costs, seven, seven. Beginning of each upkeep, create a one one green separating creature token. So if you can get token generated, that's good. Ah, oh, Foil Mountain. And Rona, Disciple of Gick. Of Gick. Is it Jicks or Gicks? Three casting costs, two, two. When you spell field, exile take a historic card from your graveyard. You may cast non-land cards at Exile with her, and pay four and tap to Exile top card of your library. Okay. Okay, there we go. No. Frenzied Rage. Banalish Honor Guard. Plus one, plus half each. Syncopate. Get to Chronicler. Dark Bargain. They are scouts. Balaf Gorger. Rescue. Kaladin Raider. Mesa Unicorn. Another Goblin Warchief. Juggernaut, I remember this from Origins. Four guys in Gospar. Three. It takes each combat fail. Can't be blocked by walls. I gave it a certain enchantment to make it can't be blocked except by anything except walls. And here's the Mirari Conjecture. Five casting costs. Return target instant card from your graveyard to your hand. We're trying to take a sorcery card from the graveyard to hand, third one. And the third one is whenever you turn into a if you cast an instant sorcery spell, I'll copy it. You may choose the new targets for their abilities. Wende, Pride of Femoreth. Four casting costs, two, two, double strike. Creatures you control with first strike get double strike. So simply makes first strike things even more deadly. Uh, let's just get this pilot sorted out. And you know what? I might as well just. Sorry about that. And just use this. Just put it as a backdrop. Ah, damn it. Kinda wish I had done this from the start, son of a bitch. Anyway. Back a track. A lot of these a lot of the old cards also has there's also the charm of the old cards as well as the charm of the new cards. There's always those times where people want new cards to come back. Now camera would focus, please. Okay, Befuddle, by Sun Goblin, and Fuck the Divine. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to skip the commons. Time of Ice. 1 and 2 is tap target creature in front of control. It doesn't untap during its control's untap step as long as you control this. And 3 is just set, is return all tap creatures in your own hand. Golden Barrage. Josu vs. Lich Knight. 4 casting costs, 4 5 with menace. That's already good as it is. This thing is a kicker. You have to pay an additional 6 mana for it. And an additional black resource as well. Not in an offensive way. I mean, like, in terms of swamps. But if this thing is kicked, this thing basically adds another 16 power to your board. Because it adds 8 2 2 zombie knight tokens with menace. Yeah, I'm not joking. This thing, I got him kicked. And my opponent scooped in pre-release. One of my opponents scooped in pre-release. Do I still lost to their opponent 2-1? Which is unfortunate. Now here's Shana. Cissé's Legacy. 2 drop. 0-0. Zero, zero, but can't be the target of abilities your opponent's control. Gets plus 1, plus 1 for each creature you control. Simple as that. Something simple. I said, I'm oh, sorry. Remember to skip commons now. Spiral, Zulfur and Void, Hinterland Harbor, another one of those lands, Foil Navigator's Compass, and Whisper. Ah, shoot! Damn it, I hate that! Uh, oh, 
is a foul from me. Sorry about that. Whisper, Blood Death Surgist. Four guys it costs 2-2. Two, two. Tap, sack two creatures, return to your from your graveyard to the battlefield. So if you can get like big stuff in your graveyard, and then just have like small stuff you can sack off and get that big bastard back on, you got yourself a combo. Might have a, an evil engine there. <laughs> now let's get this show on the road, shall we? Champion of the Flame, Curator's Ward. We already got this card as a foil. Slimefoot Stowaway. This thing is basically good for Sapling Tribal if you want. To, if you're even crazy enough to do that. Whenever Sapling Control dies, Slimefoot Stowaway deals one damage to each opponent, and you gain one life. Pay four to create a one-one green Sapling token, creature token. Three casting costs two three. Folly, Dodge and Excavator, Fall of the Thrawn, 5 6 drop. First one is Destroy All Lands, which is a deck move. Commonly done in Commander. And then 2 and 3 is each player returns 2 land cards from their graveyard to the battlefield. And now Garner the Blood Flame. 5 casting cost, 3 3 flash. When you use the battlefield, return, all, return to your hand all creatures cards in your graveyard that were put there from anywhere in this turn, and other creatures you control have haste. Something simple. Hmm. Now let's see what's next. Oh, wait. There you go. Know. Cast down. Knight of Malice. Touch you over, I've already covered. Thran Temporal, Thran Temporal get, Gateway. Four cast, four drop legendary artifact. Pay four and tap. You may put a historic permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. So you can put legendary creatures, other artifacts, or Osiris straight onto the battlefield. That could be good in Commander, like if you bounce your Commander to your hand, you can just cheat them in. Particularly if you're going for one that costs like nine mana or something. Or one that's like, has one that requires one of every color, which some Commanders are. Mine included. <laughs> and you know, and I know the drill. Set these out. Amaranthine Wool. Settle the score. Urza's Ruinous Blast. I've got all, ex now I've got all the legendary sorceries except for the one that's represented by swamps. This one is Exile, non land permanent silent legendary, 5 drop. Tetsuko Umaze. Umazawa, Fugitive. 2 drop, 1 3. Creatures control with power of toughness 1 or less can't be blocked. Another Kamigawa card, which I wonder if they'll ever do one where they return to that plane, because that was when I first got into magic, to be honest. Ah, damn this. God. I mean, this box is alright. If it's not as good as a pre release pull pulling pulling masterpiece soul ring during college pre release. I'm not joking. Okay. I'm tamed Kabu, Murfolk Trickster, Goblin Chain Whirler, three red, three three first strike, when he's about field, deals one as each point and each creature in plays walker that control. If, I, if you could focus, please. Shana we, Shana, we already did that. You are not a certain pig. It's not from Ify 6. Go away. And you know what? And I know. And remove the. So now the uncommons and Fire Fist Adept. Murfox Trickster. Sorcerer's Wand. And because we got three uncommons instead of a rare first, that means our legend, we got a legendary as our rare. Tashar, Ancestor's Apostle. Four casting costs 2 2 flyer. When you've cast a Stark spell, return target creature card with converted my cost release from your graveyard to the battlefield. Yeah, so 
but it's not too bad. I mean, I've got at least one of the Planeswalkers. I'm kind of happy about that, but there's one Planeswalker I really, a lot of us really want. And now just... Iron Thing Wall, Memorial to War, Sanctum Spirit, Foil Bloodstone Goblin, and Grand Warlord Rada. Rada. Already got, got you, so I don't need to cover you. No, I'm only covering legendaries. Yeah. I'm only covering the legendaries once. If I've already pulled them, I won't cover them full detail cover. Icy Manipulator! Another reprint that is also gets can be quite annoying. Weight of memory. Two headed giant. Forecasting costs four four. Whenever two headed giant attacks, flip two coins. If both come up heads, this thing gains double strike to end of turn. If both come up tails, gains menace to end of turn. So basically twenty five percent chance of either getting double strike or menace. The remaining seventy five no wait. No wait. Yeah, fifty fifty chance actually. 50 50. I was thinking of three coins, not two. And Whisper, we already covered you. Icy Manipulator, yet again. Damping Sphere, an annoying card. Just read that if you can. Tempest Gin. Three costs zero four. Three costs zero four. Three of the, all three must be islands though. Flying. Use plus one plus one for each basic island you control. Some is already covered. And a four rare. Kazarov. Singular pure blood. Seven casting costs four for flyer. Whenever a creature an opponent controls is dealt damage, put a plus one plus one counter on this thing. And you can pay four. One must be red. To deal to the creature, which means Black Red Commander. Black Red Commander, anyone? Jeez, this set, this set, the amount of legendaries must bring so many commander options. Now, what will anyone use a, an uncommon legendary as a commander? That's the thing. Okay, fungal plots. Weight of memory again. Haphazard Bombardment. Six, six drop enchantment. When it ends the battlefield, choose four non enchantment permanents you don't control and put an aim counter on each of them. At the beginning of your end step, if two or more permanents you don't control have an aim counter on them, destroy one of them at random. Tiana. Ship's Caretaker. Five casting costs, three, three, flying, first strike. Whenever no other equipment you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, you may return a card to its own hand beginning of the next end step. What I see now, Memorial to Genius. Sell the score. And we have a mythic, Weatherlight. Four drop, legendary artifact, vehicle. Vehicles were introduced in Kaladesh, which is, and they have a crew cost. You have to take creatures with power equal to or greater than the crew cost to be able to use that as a creature until the end of turn. Four five flying, whenever it deals combat damage to players, look at top five cards of your library. You may reveal a historic card from among them and put it to your hand, put the rest of the library in your random order. And Grundalani King, how a good! I uh, love to see you. How you always keep popping up. So I wanted to get a version where I could get 10 10 swinging alone. So suddenly be a 20 20 prick. Let's have a look. Oops. Okay, we got Arnthine Wall, Tom of Ice, we've already covered. Warcry Phoenix, Opt, Torgar, Famine Incarnate, 8 drops, 6-6, six, six. 8 drops, 7-6, additional cost cast spell, sacrificing number of creatures, reduces the cost by 2 generic every time, cannot reduce it any further than 2 black, 2 swamps though, when it enters the battlefield, up to 1 target player, its life total becomes half the starting life total, rounded down. So in Commander, you could just, if someone's got like over 200 or so life, and you know you can't win? Play this son of a bitch, and make put him down to 20. 
even worse than standard when you can put them down to 10. Wizard's Lightning, Damping Sphere, the First Eruption, Quick Out of that, First Eruption, 3 drop, deals 1 damage to each creature without flying, second one is add 2, like, two mana, third one is Sacrifice a Mountain, if you do, First Eruption deals 3 damage to each creature. Now, let me just, let me just do this real quick, and we'll finish it off, and we'll finish it. Here we go. On the home stretch, eight packs left. Usual, cut out the crap. Untamed Kavu, seal away. Oh, Yargle is just simply a. 5 drop 9 3. Antiquities War. 4 drop. First two are uh, look at top 5 cards of your library. You may reveal an artifact come from money and put it into your hand before you the bottom of your library. And the third one is artifacts you control become artifact creatures with base power and toughness 5 5 to win the third. Fungal Plots, Wizard's Lightning, Duros Familiar, Lyra Dawnbringer, another Mythic, 5 casting cost, 5-5 five, five, flying, first strike lifelink, other angels you control get plus 1, plus 1 and have lifelink. So Angel Tribal come out, could be Angel Tribal. I dare someone to do Angel Tribal. And actually, but not with Lyra as a commander, you gotta have, also have any other angel you can find. Tokens. It bosses clutches. Nice legendary that legendary enchantment. Enchant permanent. You control enchantment permanent. Enchantment permanent is legendary. Slimefoot's already there. Sage of Latinam. Cabal Stronghold. Tap to add a colorless mana. Three and tap to add, add swamps for each basic swamp you control. It's not a Cabal Coffers or anything, but. That's pretty close. Five packs left. The Eldest Reborn. Five drop. Each of sacrifice. We've already done that. One. Knight of Malice. Board the Weatherlight. Kazarov, Singy of Pure Blood. We already got that. Where is that card I was wanting? There we go, we've got Memorial to Folly, Dauntless Bodyguard, Shield of the Realm, Joda, Archmage Eternal, four casting cost, four free flyer, but also has you might pay one of every color rather than pay the mana cost for spells that you cast. So he's basically another five color commander you can use. Four drop five color commander. Okay, that is awesome. Bolus of Clutches, Thorn Elemental, another reprint. Kind of Simple Thundering, 6 drop, Tiger Play, 60 should turn after this one, return up to one target, non land permanent to the side of his hand, exile this. This thing's a stupid one. Urgirl, the empty one, 6 drop, 4 free fire, whenever it feels common to play it, but if they discuss the card at random, if they can't, you draw a card. Nineteen. Knight of Grace, Wild Onslaught, Helm of the Host, along with Adela's Cinder Wind, 
Dallas. Three drop, two two flying haste. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery spell, wizards you control get plus one plus one to in turn. So if you're doing wizard trouble, you can do that. Hell of the host. Four drop legendary artifact equipment. Beginning of combat on your turn. Create a token that's a copy of a equipped creature. Except the token isn't legendary. If equipped creature is legendary, that token gains haste. So slap that on an Ur on the Ur dragon if you're using that as your commander. You can get like basically two triggers of the Ur dragon, and have two ten ten flyers blocks so that way you know like this you can just be like uh you know, like that now i know this is the last pack but will i have my i feel like my luck's not as good as the last time speaking of zombie night token i just pulled that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten no more foil so dauntless bodyguard warcry phoenix Mishra Self Replicator, 5 drop 2 2. Artifact. When you cast a Smell Spell, you may pay 1. If you do, create a token that has a copy of it. And Valduk, Keeper of the Flame. Okay, all in all, that seems like an alright pull, but it could have been a lot better. There was a certain card I was looking for. I wish I'd pulled that card, because that card is freaking amazing. I mean, there's, still, there's a lot of good cards in the set, don't get me wrong. But there are always some that are better than others, depending on what the situation is, considering how much standard rot standard use and everything. Well, that's that's the end of the box. Let's see what what do you think of that? Do you f and also do you think I made a profit or a loss on that? Okay, I must remember to track that and have my it have future me. Put in the title at the end of the video so we can see if it's profit or loss.